Hey, how you doing? I'm Kurt from HollyWookie.com. Bye. Nice to meet you. All right, I'll keep it quick, I promise. Um, how hard is it to write real problems for real men and keep it interesting for everyone watching? <laughs> Not saying you haven't done a great job of it, because you have, but... Well, the good thing about writing real problems for real men is I don't have to do any research. How's that? That's, I come with that. And so does Ray. And so do all the writers. And for that matter, the actor. So... I usually um, get a reaction it's, it's from really the way that Ray and I have had lucky success. So I, uh, or is trying I'm to write the way out. And, and, and where they laugh. Hopefully we're successful. What, you know, when they're hanging on the, you know, the dramatic you know, elements to the piece. And, and, and I think we have a... Eating that up. You get people sucked in that way. You know, if you see something that you feel like you're part of. Everybody's here. It's just, uh... That's always what we like to watch. So do you use a lot of what's happening to you personally in the episodes? So there's a lot of the room. We do. I wouldn't say it's like... Uh, it's just, it's Rarely really do we take a totally specific in incident like that to happened to you yesterday. I never thought it was raining when we would do that. Everybody sure. Would come, character seems like you, you know, you have a fight with your wife over the weekend or something. Yeah. You come in and go, here's what where, happened. Where and where that makes a great go, episode. We know you know, now, you know, this is a little maybe gonna be with Aaron because the cast is more diverse. The storylines are three different main characters. It's a different animal. We do use a lot of experiences from our lives, from the writers' lives, and from their friends' lives. But it's more traditional. <laughs> so writer, get back you know, like as a vampire I mean, sucking the story out of somebody, like tell me a great story, you know, and using uh, using that and twisting um, it to, to, to you know, make it so fit the show. Which which medium do do you prefer? Do you prefer the sitcom, the every everybody loves Raymond, or do you prefer writing for this? Well, you know, I must say I love them both. I did the sitcom for a while. Now I'm extremely happy doing this. I hope I get to do this for a lot longer. We haven't had much time doing this. You know, if I can do this for nine seasons, then, you know. Oh, sure. Then I'll go on to animation or something. Um, but, yeah, it's great. I love doing this right now. Do you guys have a, a story arc in mind, or is it is it like a season-by-season season kind of thing? I'm like a fan. We have a very, very generalized sense of where the show would go over a series. Okay. Obviously, as you get done with each season, things have changed a little bit. You've made different decisions than you thought you would. But we're definitely itching to get to next season. We have a lot of uh, really, you know, we've set up a lot of stuff that we're really... Oh, I was just going to say that the, 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 the characters, characters seem to have broadened so much more in this season. So much more drama. Uh, you know, Terry's grown quite a bit. Uh, so you do have like some, some things in mind for, for... Absolutely. And we're not a show that has to make everybody stay in the same place all the time. We're not trying to do that. We're trying to show sort of two steps forward, one step back. Two steps forward, one step back. But these guys grow, but they don't. You know, people change, but they change. It's very hard. And especially when you reach a certain age, your life comes with a lot of baggage. So turning the ship of your life becomes uh, harder and harder. These guys are kind of trying to do that, all for different reasons. Um, and there's a lot of that's where we find the drama. And so that changes, you know, they can move forward season over season. All right, so I, I, I'm going to ask everybody today, well, not her, but all the guys, uh, what, if anything, have you did you do for your midlife crisis? Have you had a midlife crisis? Well, luckily I had this show <laughs> to portray whatever. I mean, no, I can't. I'm sure there's something. I play hockey. I play street hockey. Oh, excellent. 14-year-old boys play street hockey. I'm 47. I still play street hockey. Hey, there's nothing wrong with street hockey. I play street hockey. Well, there's street hockey. I know that at a certain, age, at a certain point, this will end badly. This isn't going to be the kind of day where I just the kind of thing where I say I'm retired from street hockey. I'm just not going to go today. I'm going to get heinously injured. I was just going to say that it's going to end in an injury. It yes. always does. And then I'll, I guess that's the how I'll you know. So I think that's about as far as I take it. You know, uh, I've been married for almost 18 years and no end in sight. Unless excellent, she knows something I don't. I, I haven't heard anything. Okay. So so far you're good. Word on the street is the marriage is still. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, do you think that uh, Ray? came up with this just as an excuse to get paid for golfing? So I think there's a part of that. I think there's a That's kind of what I figured. <laughs> you know, when we, when we shoot on the golf course, of course we get like an hour lunch. He, the moment off the clock, he gets in a cart and goes and plays three holes. Doesn't eat lunch. Nice. You know, and he's been shooting golf all day. So.